Hey guys, it's JW from Trade the Fifth. This is a video on how to install the black box breakout indicators if you do not have anything else. I recommend getting the Elliott Wave first and then adding on the black box indicators. Um, it works fine by itself also, but they work amazing together. So first thing you're gonna do is go to your email that you get from Trade the Fifth, you need to download this in Google Chrome. If there's one thing you take away from this, remember to download from Google Chrome. It's a lot easier to install it. Um, you're going to get an email that is going to look like this, except for it's going to have the new version, which I have that um, right up here. But download updated version, but it is going you'll have your current one. It's going to say W5T black box. You're going to click next, finish, okay, yes to all, okay, okay. The alternative method to doing this is in the middle of your screen. The first way using Google Chrome is way faster if you can't tell. The other long way is to right click your screen insert analysis technique. We're gonna pretend that this is not here. We're gonna hit import, use import export wizard. You're gonna to go to the second option, import easy language file, ELD, ELS, or ELA. Click next, click browse, and you are going to have black box breakout, April, it, I've got both of them here from the old version, so you would only see this one sitting here. None of these other two would be here. And these are saved on the desktop. You can also scroll up to your downloads and they'll be in there. I've got these saved to the desktop. Well, I did, there we go. Go back to my downloads. Blackbox Breakout version 3. Click next, next, finish. Okay, yes to all. Okay. Now, whichever way you used, they're loaded in the trade station. Now you gotta load them on your chart. Right click your chart, insert analysis technique. You would not have Elliott Wave and false breakout, you would only have black box. Hold your control button down in mtf.cloud. Click OK. It's going to give you a runtime error because there, you have not entered your serial, uh, code yet. So you're going to right click the chart, format analysis technique. If you notice, it'll say off. You hit status, turning the black box on, then hit format. You're gonna go down and enter your pass, your key that Paul's giving you. Make sure you use the placeholders or parentheses on the end or it will not take it. It'll give you an error message if you forget to put them in there. It won't let you go forward without it. Click OK. Sometimes your MTF.cloud, sometimes it is off. I've seen that on a couple um, students' computers. Why, I have no idea. It's something in your own personal settings. It's always set to on, but just in case if it's not, click format. And occasionally, some people's computers will also have where you gotta enter the black box uh, code, um, your license key for that. After you're done with all this, hit close. And your black box indicators on here with your dot cloud. There is a separate video on how to change your dot cloud settings for the right time frame, um, and also how to adjust these bars right here. Um, you can just right click, format text, yes, go down to text size. Change that to six, click OK, and your black box um, indicators, the numbers are still there, but smaller so they don't take up as much space 
on your chart. That's it, guys. It's JW from Trade the Fifth on how to install the black box breakout.